My boys, I know I'm not the only one that hates mirror matches, right? It just seems to me that when you play a mirror match against somebody and it's just all the same card, same kind of tactic, it feels like a coin toss. But what happens when you throw everything to the side? You throw the meta to the side, you throw your knowledge of deck building to the side, you throw all of it to the side, my boy, and say, fuck it, man. I'm going madman mode. This is what happens. 25 card madman deck clapping in legend right now. And we're on our way up in this episode of Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links. YT Dan Duel Links is sponsored by viewers like you. Support the channel directly by becoming a member. All right, my boys, wanted to talk to you guys about the no name, no aim deck. We're getting in there on balance. I know I played on the stream yesterday and it was not that successful. And honestly, it's because I wasn't running enough cards. A lot of duelists like to play over 20 card decks and I could definitely see why in something like this with balance. Interesting thing is, the biggest thing you gotta worry about, of course, is drawing a brick. But honestly, hey, poo. But honestly, because you're using uh, enough flip-flop frogs, golem sentries, and mahjong sisters, that's basically enough cards for you to be able to run a successful balanced version of this deck. I also like the tech and the spell cards because we're running Monster Gate, Savage Coliseum, and Necro Valley. Also, I'm running triple back row hate. Now, real talk, you can run triple Necro Valley. That works great or you can run two Necro Valley and a Monster Gate. That also works gate, uh, works great. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but basically my boys, um, pretty much uh, running balance with this allows us to get the spells going and getting, you know, it's not getting the spells is what you're really looking for. What you're really looking for is getting the trap cards, my boy. So if you want to get them trap cards, you want to make sure we're using balance and what you want to say, what, what cards you want to use in the deck? Monster Gate dog. I speaks for the baby. He wants to use Monster Gate. So enjoy the rest of the video, my boys. Enjoy the madman claps and as always, keep it dank. Really like that Monster Gate spell card. Um, it pretty much, you know, gives you an option to hopefully get into one of the big boys. Plus, all the monsters have the in the deck have the effect of putting themselves face down. So, no matter who you get, you can put them back face down to continue your uh, shenanigans. All right, so we're going first, and this field in this field of warriors. So it's probably that uh, noble knight bullshit. But we got cosmic cyclone, so not too worried about it. But if it is a noble knights. This card will definitely fuck him up, and he will have a lot of problems with this card and also with the Bahamut. So we're going to go ahead and set face down, and then here's Bahamut. And then Bahamut's effect, put the face down, and then we're going to set the Cosmic Cyclone and pass. So if it's Noble Knights, we can definitely stop him with Cosmic Cyclone, um, especially if he tries to pop anything off, you know, uh, short of Merlin, uh, but if he has Merlin, then it's just Merlin gonna go fucking bananas. But we have to stop that uh, one spell card that can destroy set cards, obviously, because all of our shit is fucking set, and we can't afford to let him go nuts with that card. Essentially, that would be become destroy one card on the field. Oh wow, okay, he's going in with Luna Lights. All right, so this is interesting. Uh, I guess he's going to summon a monster that can't be targeted and then swing in on this and kill it. But then I'm going to just send it back to his hand with flip flop or back to the extra deck with flip flop. So that's fine by me. Uh, and then we've also got cosmic cyclone for any back row he might set. Cause if he has to do the Luna like thing, he's going to burn three cards, which is absolutely great. You know, if we want to, Oh no, he's not doing Luna lights. He's doing something different. Okay. Daryl, thanks for that sub, my boy, while I'm recording. Got in there right in time, my boy. Right in time. Now, this card, actually... Um, yeah, this this card isn't all that great for what... For, I mean, for what I'm doing here. Um, it's, it's decent, but it's not... It's just not... It's not good enough. 
Flip Flop Frog can handle this, and then also he can handle this too. Um, so I'm not worried. And he's gonna be, this returns a card to the hand. It says target one spell or trap on the field and then return it to the hand. Yeah, I'll definitely just take it back. I won't bother with like using it on his field spell. Oh, he might be able to go uh, into the big one too. If he can hit the big one too, then that will actually be a bit of an issue. But I mean, we still can handle whatever he summons, especially if it's just two monsters. Such a cheesy deck, bro. <laughs> I really hate this shit. I mean, so we'll see what he does. I guess he, he does have the fusion, so he can fuse unless it says once per turn. Oh, he said you can only use one Loom Life fusion once per turn, so he won't be summoning the big one. Oh, Palmerization. Well, fuck it then. These people normally have everything, so, you know, look at him. He's going in with everything. But since one monster can't be targeted and the other monster has some, like, can't die by battle or some shit, we're basically going to... Um, Flip this back to the extra deck and banish this one. So, yeah, so he's gonna hit this. We're gonna activate. And then we're gonna banish. Jazz out of here. Oh, well, he's gonna negate it with Crimson Fox. Alright. So that's negated. Both get life points. Okay, I guess that's Crimson Fox effect. And then he's gonna hit this. And use the effect. And then I'm gonna send this back. All right, so all I gotta do is draw a sub terror. We're in there. All right, we didn't draw a sub terror, so we're not in there. Uh, I'm gonna set a card. Uh, gonna set another and pass. We have to get into a sub terror and something to set next turn. If we don't, then you know that's just tilt mode. Or get into a monster gate and something to, something to set. If we don't get that, then you know it's tilt mode. Okay, he's not attacking. He's afraid. Good. So. We put the fear of God into him, and I'm happy about that. Literally made this man shit himself, so that's great. Um, so let's just flip face up. Mahjong sisters draw. This fiendish chain or something like that. You know, we can cause a cyclone it, but if it's floodgate or Kanadia, it doesn't really matter. Mahjong sisters, bro. All right. Uh, we get to pick up a card and discard a card, and I drew the flip flop which is excellent. So I think I'm gonna just discard the Cosmic Cyclone. I'm gonna activate the effect and put the Mahjong Sisters face down. Oh, offering to the Doom, that's great. Now he's locked in, he can't draw, and we're still gonna go nuts. All right, so this card, uh, once per turn is, uh, da, 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 da. so it, it can't die by battle. So we're gonna summon the Flip Flop. Activate the flip flop, don't stop. Flip flop won't stop. We ain't stopping, boy. And he can't draw either. So we're definitely gonna win this now. Going face down. <laughs> See, it, it, I've learned that you have to outplay people. You just can't play the cards like a madman. If you wanna be a madman, a true madman, you gotta really learn how to play the deck. So this is this is me getting in there. I actually played against one of these. I, I'm pretty sure this is Christron's. I played against Christron's and we definitely clapped them. So hopefully I get the same kind of Christron clapping hand. Ah, uh, is this a Christron clapping hand? Kinda, let's see. So the first thing we're gonna do is summon the boy. Hey Pooh. Baby just woke up. <laughs> Baby's like, did you think you could get away with a recording without me being awake? <laughs> no baby. I Baby's like, <laughs> fool. But I've already set my baby up for a trap, you see. I put some toys in his little sit thing, so he's occupied while I do this duel. <laughs> I'll send this fool to the Shadow Realm while parenting my baby. <laughs> hey, Pooh. Hi, -ya. Hi -ya. All right, here he goes, Christian. Cross. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Look at him. Here I go, dog. Good job. Uh let's hit him with the banishment now. Uh we're gonna change a set one to Ooh yeah. We're gonna change our set monster right now. Go we'll flip and face up. And guess what we do when we flip face up? We banish. 
And guess what else we do? We chain Cosmic Cyclone and we banish. Nice. Now that's a clap if I ever seen one. Alrighty. So what's cool is we got some great options. Fistron Impact, not gonna really do much for you. All right. Uh, ooh, Monster Gate, that's wonderful. All right, so let's do this first. Uh, Cause I top deck Monster Gate. This is a really good card in this deck. Gonna activate Monster Gate, gonna tribute this, see what we get. Ooh, no Cosmic. Ooh, we got a big boy. All right, so um, now we're gonna just try to swing in for game right now. So now we got the big boy. Um, gonna activate, gonna put him face down. Mm hmm. And then uh, let's swing in for game, hopefully. Let's see, what, we'll see what he has coming in. Knocking on the, knocking on your life points door, my boy. Knock, knock, knocking on your life points door. All right, here it is, GG time. Here's the big boost. <laughs> More tier one decks, dead. <laughs> All right, my boy, thank you so much for chilling with your boy and watching this video. We're still going in madman style with additional content today. We do have a live stream that comes up after eight o'clock in the afternoon or, or at evening. Uh, and also we do legacy of the duelist and you Yu-Gi-Oh! duel links on this channel So I'd ask you to subscribe my boys to this channel to make sure that you never miss the content And additionally if you want to support your boy, you can become a YouTube member I do members only content that basically is more of a casual stream of random games for about an hour before each stream uh, those streams are available to members um, and we have a lot of one-on-one -on -one conversations with the members It's just a small group of people that like to support me very similar to a patreon But I do it all on YouTube for the convenience of the folks that you know are on YouTube And also you can support me by using the Amazon link in the description below the holidays is coming around and you can support your boy without spending a dime continue your original holiday plans and shopping and use the, my link below and you can help your boy by just using that Amazon link. So without further ado, my boy, you can enjoy the rest of the content. And of course, if you can't support me financially, a like, a subscribe, a comment, a share is always, always appreciated. I'm gonna thank y'all again and keep it dank.